Jan. And today we will speak about uh, Android and uh, Windows Mobile. We will uh, learn how to make some HTTP connections and uh, how to use them. Okay, first of all, we will start with the short uh, walkthrough on the agenda. We will uh, make a little walkthrough on the uh, leading mobile technology. Uh, a deep uh, walkthrough on the Android uh, and the Windows Mobile uh, frameworks. Uh, we will display a conceptual uh, use case in order to provide the problem domain and the means of how to solve it. And uh, eventually we will uh, make a little drill down into the code for uh, Android and also for uh, Windows Mobile. So the leading uh, mobile technologies markets are uh, Symbian OS, uh, which is provided uh, today by Nokia, iPhone OS, which is provided by Apple, BlackBerry, Brew, and Android and Windows CE slash Windows Mobile. Uh, Symbian, let's talk about it. So Symbian is an open framework. Uh, it supports multi-threaded applications. It uh, gives you a direct access to its hardware and uh, the means to develop applications uh, inside Symbian are uh, Symbian native C++ or J2ME or Qt framework. Symbian is built uh, as any other regular uh, operating system. If we will take a look on the uh, leveled uh, architecture of Symbian, we can see that uh, in the bottom we have the Symbian OS and of course beneath it we will uh, eventually see the uh, hardware. On top of the Symbian OS we have the UI framework which is uh, which supplies all the UI widgets and uh, the application frameworks which uh, we would like to run on each uh, device. And on top of this uh, UI framework, we can put uh, the runtime frameworks that we are already familiar with, such as J2ME, Python, .NET, Basic, Perl, and others. Okay, so iPhone OS. iPhone OS is a variant of the uh, Darwin OS. It's the I can uh, describe it as subset of the Mac OS. Uh, operating system. It uh, supplies uh, H.263 and H.264 hardware support. Uh, the means to develop uh, applications in uh, the iPhone OS are uh, Xcode and you have to get Macbook in order to develop it. You can also get uh, a Mac Pro or whatever but you have to get uh, an Apple device in order to develop for iPhone. Next is the BlackBerry. The main features of uh, BlackBerry are uh, kind of like uh, the same uh, features of uh, any other uh, J2ME uh, phone. Since BlackBerry uses uh, Java to Micro Edition, it has to uh, stand up to the minimized uh, standard of the J2ME uh, requirements. So it comes with the 32-bit uh, i386 processor at least half megabyte of uh, RAM and S and four to five megabytes of uh, SRAM. The whole OS is uh, running inside the single executable, which called the exe. Uh, applications inside the BlackBerry are eventually DLLs, dynamically loaded library, which are compiled from the Java language. Uh, main char characteristics of uh, BlackBerry are uh, it's always on and connected to the internet. It uh, supplies push and messaging uh, services. It comes with the uh, wireless mail and uh, data. And it has integrated apps which you can combine inside your application, such as ICQ, Yahoo, Google Talk, Maps, email, etc., etc., etc. So let's talk a little bit about Android. What is Android? Eventually, we can look at Android 
as a stack of a mobile uh, software which comes with operating system, with, mid with middleware and uh, key applications. And it comes with the ability to develop applications inside it. It's an open operating system. And uh, the way to develop inside uh, the Android in the most uh, seamless way is using uh, the Google developed uh, libraries, which uh, supplies the Java. The Android is based on the uh, subset of the Linux kernel. And uh, the uh, main uh, <coughs> runtime of the uh, Android is the Dalvik D Java runtime environment, which has been uh, developed by Google. So let's talk a bit about Java. What is Java? Why, why do we need it? So Java is a platform independent uh, language, uh, kind of like uh, the .NET uh, equivalent that we already know from uh, Microsoft. Uh, the syntax is derived uh, from the C++ language. It's an abstract uh, programming language. OS uh, specifics are encapsulated so you don't have to mess up with the drivers and uh, all the other uh, issues that uh, related to specific uh, manufacturers. I will display how to easily develop uh, applications in the uh, Dalvit Java runtime in the next slides. So, how can we hack Android? How can we work with it? Generally, we are talking about uh, four different uh, softwares which comes in the same bundle of the uh, Android SDK. We are talking about the Dalvik debug monitoring services. We are talking about the uh, debug bridge, which enables us uh, to start the debug and put a breakpoint and then take a look at, on the state of the application and uh, the members. We can also manipulate uh, some and uh, put some uh, values inside of it. Uh, the trace view gives us graphical analysis uh, for viewing the trace logs from the Android applications. You can look at it as a kind of like a sophisticated console. And finally, we can, uh, we can make a walkthrough on the uh, file system by using the MKSD card and the SD card disk. Okay, so now we'll talk about Windows CE, Windows Mobile, and Pocket PC. Eventually, we can look at them at, as the same uh, OS. The difference between them is the uh, configuration. Uh, each configuration is uh, provided in order to supply a different uh, market segment's needs, such as the mobile market, such as uh, point of sales, etc., etc., etc. Let's, look, let's, look, like, let's take a look at uh, the HD Touch uh, from uh, HTC and a good example for implementation of the Windows Mobile configuration on top of the uh, Windows CE. Uh, today we are getting uh, such kinds of uh, devices uh, in the market which comes uh, with the Windows Mobile uh, 6.1 to 6.5 uh, edition. Uh, main features are office application, PDF viewers, wireless LAN, Bluetooth, UMTS, high resolution cameras, GPS, and large touch displays.